Hello, hello. I am so excited that it's time to spend with you all. Hey, Crooked Peach. All right, so Crooked Peach, while we wait on the uh, hordes of people to come in and hang out with us, I am going to go check out your channel because I totally, absolutely love your name. And I'm curious to see what all you get up to in your, oh, ooh, improving your health with real whole foods and healing plants. Yes, yes, Crooked Peach. Yep, we are gonna have some great chats because I am all for that. Still living in the city at the moment, but um, as soon as we can get land, we are out of here and ready. I mean, my husband's like, you know, we want to have, you know, something to live in and blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, look, bro, I will, I will make a tent out of sticks. Get me the hell out of, out of the city. We will figure it out once we get there, which of course he's the wiser one. Like, um, because, you know, like in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I can totally make it. But in reality, I would be like, okay, it's 90 degrees and we don't have a shower. And uh, the neighbors call the police or call the sheriff if I lay in the stream naked. And I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> so I think it sounds a lot better in my head than in reality. But yeah, Crooked Peach, totally love your channel. Totally love your channel. I did I subscribe yet? Let me look. Um, subscribe. Yep, yep, yep. And it looks like you've got some pretty cool videos. Black walnuts everywhere. Yes, love those. Love those. Love those. Um, uh, and my cat's gonna be needy. Let me see if I can pick him up. You legit ran away from the city. Yes. And now that I said I was going to pick him up, the cat left. Just, just so you, but it's still meowing immediately. Um, Stubbies, come here. Don't you want to be a YouTube celebrity? No, no. The answer to that is no. He does not want to be a YouTube celebrity. He is not at all interested in that life. So yeah, I think that I think that especially in these times, getting onto some land as our food prices are going up and their nutritional value is going down. Um, yeah, it's the time. And another another YouTuber that you would really like is Bayou Sugar. Um, she talks a lot about similar things, and I think I think you would like her. And there's another one. Why is her name not coming to mind? Um, I need to get with her and have her um, do a guest live on my channel because she is way farther along in her um, herbalism journey than I am. She's actually like studying, studying herbalism. So um, that is super, super, super cool. Um, I will remember her name at some point, but right now I got nothing, 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 nothing. Um, and I'm not seeing her on my, uh, feed right now. So you want to talk about the food? Oh, absolutely. Talk away. Since it's just me and you, like we're just hanging out for now. If other people come and, uh, join the fun, then we may or may not switch gears. I am always flexible. I'm going to look and see who else, like if we've got a bunch of people watching, that are just being quiet. Um, and the answer is, um, we got a couple, which is fine. Um, yeah, but absolutely Crooked Peach, when I find her, um, I'll probably post it under one of your videos. So um, that'll be awesome. But yeah, um, I've, I've only recently been pondering um, really like letting it sink in how much junk is going into our food when you, we buy it at the supermarket, like your vegetables and stuff and how little nutrition is in it. Uh, yeah. Sarah, hey, 
what's up what's up how is it going in the land of bees oh my lord guys if anybody comes in tell them i will be right back i'm gonna let this cat out before he makes me lose my mind but i am going to show you his cuteness so hold on you're gonna get to see kitty loves you pay for going outside and play. You have to go on the live and you have to greet the people. So this is the Stubbs. Hard to see the cuteness of his little eyes, but he is the world's cutest lover boy. I'm going to let him out real quick and I'll be right back. Note that he is not the same cat who interrupted my last live. This is a different one. So, um, oh, wow. Okay. Okay, Crooked Peach. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Melly. So the deal was I joined this challenge, right, where you do five lives in five days. And I joined it late. So I did one live yesterday and for today, and I'm going to be really honest, um, I thought I expected something very different. Um, I thought that the members of the um, of the group would be here and be supporting, but I only saw one of them from that challenge in the lives today. So, oh, hold on. However, instead of what I expected, um, I got all of you and totally I got the best end of this deal. So it's all good. Oh, really, Sarah? That's awesome. This is what this shelf is what I'm going to take um, when I start doing uh, farmers markets. This um, this is what I'm going to take to put different things on display. And then I'll have my table in the front where I have my um, my products. So. Yeah, so uh, five lives in five days. I am not ever planning to do that again. Um, however, I had a blast doing all these lives with you all. Melly, re reconnecting with you is like the best ever. Um, getting to know um, Crooked Peach better, um, hanging out with my Sarah. Y'all, this is the best day ever. Thanks. So what we had been doing, what I had planned, is um, I was going to do a little um, getting to know you kind of a, a thing where uh, I ask um, who's into this or that, and we um, just kind of get to know each other, find some common interests. Um, I love it when all the people that are in my life bond and become friends so that my friends who are separate become friends with each other. It's like the best ever. So if you guys are okay with that, we'll do another round. But Crooked Peach, we can also talk about some food stuff um, here and there as we're waiting on answers. So if you are interested in doing this uh, getting to know you game thing, um, type R in the chat because you're ready. Meanwhile, I'm going to bring up the list. Okay, it's all nice and ready if you all are into it. Um, if not, I'm not really sure what we'll do, but we'll figure something out. All right, Melly's in, Crooked Peach is in. I know Sarah's in because we talked about this um, in between the chats for a second. So we already did letters A through M earlier um, in an earlier live. Um, okay, I get that, Sarah. I get that. I am drinking some Mountain Dew um, to stay alive through this. And uh, because it's normally I like if I can't sleep, which I, I usually don't sleep really well during the night, I kind of take a, a nap here and there in the day. And because I had an appointment and the person canceled, but not until literally minutes before the appointment, 
um, I wasn't able to get a nap in. And I'm super annoyed because this is a person from a professional agency that's supposed to be helping me with my business. And instead they made my life more complicated and that was not cool. Um, yes, yes, low vitamin D, bad sleep. And you know, um, my vitamin D is super low, but I was, um, my chiropractor does this kind of test called a remedy test where you, um, they take like, I don't know, like 50 of your hairs and they um, take some of your saliva and they send it to a lab and they do all these tests to find out your um, food. Um, they check your food sensitivities, how your systems are working in your body. And um, they said that I was really low on vitamin D. I was like, yeah, I know I'm supposed to take supplements for that. Um, but they said the reason um, is that when your um, digestive system is bad, when it's not working well, which mine was not, um, you uh, don't absorb nutrients like you should, and that can contribute to low vitamin D. Um, and I have a really cool book that I will show you all in a second that talks about that. So, okay, let's, let's see. So for our first question, type in if you like to be in nature. Type in if you like to be in nature and then tell me more. Do you like to swim, hike? Do you like to camp? What do you, do you like to swim in the ocean? What do you like to do? Surfing, um, surfing seems so far away because I'm in Indiana. Like there's, <laughs> there's not any possibility to, to, uh, to actually surf here, but okay. While you guys type answers, I'm going to go get that book just because it came to mind. Um, but it's super close. So I'll be right back. Okay, I lied. I forgot I took that back to the library yesterday. Silly me. Um, so the book is called Eat Dirt. Uh, let me type it in the chat. By Dr. Josh Axe. He's the guy that does the keto diet. Um, I really wanted to read it. It talks a lot about um, intestinal issues. Um, let's see. Melly says, I love to be in the ocean in summer. Um, as well as walking in the park. Yes. I love watching you walk um, throughout the city. That's very cool. Um, and I also love the ocean. It's so, I mean, even thinking about it, I got all relaxed. Um, Crooked Peach says, used to love to hike and kayak. Now I only want to garden and tend to the homestead. Absolutely. Um, I think that is totally fair. If I... You know, like a lot of the places that I go to get in nature are things that I wouldn't need to do if I had my own land, like camping. If I had my own land, life would be camping. Um, hiking. If I had my own land, I'd just be checking on things on my property. Um, so, yeah, I probably wouldn't leave mine. And I'm a hermit anyway. Um, type in H if you are a hermit who prefers staying alone um, or staying at home, not necessarily alone, but if you prefer staying at home other rather than going places and doing things. Uh, Sarah, I like watching bees. Yes, ma'am, you do. I can't wait to come and see your bees. That's going to be so much fun. So Melly, Sarah's got, um, Sarah has hives. She, um, I don't know what you call it. You don't raise bees. You don't grow bees. I don't know what you do, but she has hives. And uh, she lives pretty close to me, so I get to go see them one day. That's going to be super cool. Oh, Kodiak Farm Bees. Stinging nettle, turmeric, holy basil can help your body absorb vitamin D. 
Hey, thank you for that. Very, very much appreciate that. I actually have, I have some stinging, stinging nettle tea that someone gave me. Um, it's not actually like nettle that someone dried um, themselves. It's like a processed tea. However, until the nettle is up in the woods a little better, it's going to work for me. Um, so I probably should do that. Yes, Kodiak with the facts. I still can't believe, Kodiak, that you're in Louisiana. I totally thought that you were somewhere super north, like the edge of Alaska or something. Um, all right. So um, now next question. We already talked about it a little, but for O, um, hold on, can't type. Do you like to be in the ocean? If you do, type O and tell me if you have a favorite ocean creature. Um, and I have to think about that because I don't know if I do. Um, Crooked Peach thought so too. Yeah, where did the name Kodiak come from? Um, Lee, where did where did you get the name for your um, for your farm? Oh, Melly's balanced. Love being out with my friends or husband, but as well like to be home. Yeah, um, that's fair. I'm a little more towards like staying at home. Um, occasionally, I like to go out with friends, but oh, Sarah got to swim with dolphins. What? What? That's amazing. Nellie loves the whales. Very cool. Um, I'm going to say jellyfish. I like them from a very long distance. I do not like them near my toesies, but they are so cool when you see them in the water. Like they're just, they're just so neat and like miraculous. They're so intricate and lighty and they're just cool. Um, named it Kodiak after my father's CB handle. Yeah, <laughs> he was 6'6", 290 uh, pounds. Everyone said he was big as a bear. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. Sarah said totally random, but it happened. That's amazing. How was it? You got to tell me everything. Um, Melly, yes, gore, uh, jellyfish are gorgeous. We go to an aquarium every year on our family vacation, and... I love watching the jellyfish. Um, so, yeah. All right. Next question is P. Um, do you like plants? And what is your favorite? So I'm going to have two answers to this personally. Um, for my favorite plant for eating... Um, I love Brussels sprouts, um, because I love the, to eat the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> um, and of course I like plants. I have a, I have a homesteading channel. Um, but I, as far as like, um, plants that are not for, um, food or medicine, um, have you all experienced the wonder of, Oh, what are those called? They're the hyacinths, but they're tiny. Grape hyacinths, I think is what they're called. Um, I The smell of those is amazing. Um, we have, my neighbor has them growing wild in his yard. Um, if we're still here in the fall, I may ask him if I can have some of the bulbs, like if I can separate them and take a couple. Um, because they, the smell of hyacinths is the best ever. I have full-sized hyacinths that I grow, um, and they're actually in bloom right now. I need to make a little short about those. Um, Kodiak says Portuguese man o' war are cool-looking jellyfish. That sounds neat. I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've seen one of those. Um, Crooked Peach says she loves tomatoes. Sarah can't pick, pick a favorite. Um, Crooked Peach, do you have a specific favorite type of tomatoes? I am growing, um, this year I'm growing one that's like a, I don't know, like a pineapple tomato or a beefsteak. It's one of the giant ones. 
Um, I don't know exactly what it was because a friend was just like, I have too many tomato plants, have some. And I was like, oh, why thank you. And I took them home and planted them. Um, and I have a cherry tomato variety, same from the same friend. And then this year I've got yellow pear tomatoes, which are supposed to be lower in acid, but we'll see. Um, Melly says, I like tropical plants like Monstera. Is that how you say it, Monstera? And to eat all of them because I'm a vegan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Melly, that sounds that sounds very much like you. That's awesome. <laughs> um, I'm really excited, Melly. One of the things that I am getting ready to do, I've been doing these like videos about um, edible plants in our yards, but I'm really trying to work at adding recipes at the end. Um, and I think that's going to be amazing. Maybe more people will be willing to join you in the world of vegans if they see all the cool plants growing in their yards. Um, Sarah, Sarah says, I have some growing wild in the yard. Oh, I'm so jealous. But just a few. So not enough that I can like steal them. Um, and Sarah says, must have cherry tomatoes for the grandchildren to pick and eat. Yes, I must have cherry tomatoes for myself to pick and eat. I love them. Ooh, Crooked Peach says I'm excited about a, a mana orange. Um, big yellow fruity tomatoes. Nice. Um, that is cool. I love, oh, what are they? They're red. Is it Roma? The ones that are like this long, but they're only about that wide. Um, so like they're longer than they are tall, uh, longer than they are wide. I mean, um, I think they're Romas. I like those. I don't know why, but um, okay. Next question is for Q. I had a little bit of trouble coming up. Okay. It is Romas. Cool. Um, so for Q, I'm going to flip the, I'm going to flip the script a little bit. Um, what's a question you have for me or for others in the chat? I'm curious what you are curious about. Ooh, banners. Okay. I'm going to try this while you type in answers. Um, 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 create a banner. Let's see if this works. Let's see, is it working? I don't see one. Why is it saying, uh, maybe not. Okay, um, if you can see a banner going across my screen, type a one. I don't think you can, I'm, at least I'm not seeing it, so. Um, oh, there we go, there we go. Cool, if you have a comment. Um, Crooked Peach, what is my homesteading goal? Um, my goal, like my, do you want my short-term goal or my long-term goal? Um, Melly asks, what is your favorite color? Um, my favorite color is teal and blues and greens. I'm curious, what are all of your favorite colors? Um, Crooked Peach, big picture, I want to grow and draw, grow and preserve um, edible plants um, so that um, my family will not have to rely on um, uh, big pharma type medicines. I want to have um, what we need to be able to eat. I mean, obviously there are some things I'm always probably gonna grab from the store. Um, I don't know if I would, like I want a cow because they're little and they're like a mini cow just for cuteness value. And so I don't have to like mow my, mow my yard. Um, however, will I buy milk from the store? Probably, um, I'm just being honest. Ice cream, I'll probably buy it from the store. Um, but I'd like to also have um, woods around where I can for, forage for wild edibles. And eventually I'd like a shop where I can hold classes and help others to learn um, what I have, which is cool. 
Um, let's see. Sarah asked, what would you do for a Klondike bar? Nothing. I don't like Klondike bars. Um, however, if you would like to ask what I would do for a Nestle Crunch ice cream bar, that will get you a very different answer. Uh, Melly likes uh, pink, purple, and turquoise. Yes, great choices. Um, ooh, Crooked Peach wants to know, Sarah, have you ever had any farm animals? And I'm actually curious, Melly, um, have you had any pets? And Crooked Peach, do you have any animals on your homestead? Um, I'm going to look at your YouTube channel. Oh, I got distracted. No, 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 no. Okay. I lost you, but I'll find you again later. It's fine. I try to keep people's, um, I love to keep people's, I, um, channels up so that when I'm done with, uh, watching a live or doing a live, I can just go check them out and I don't forget. Um, Melly says, I would love to have land in Costa Rica to be able to plant as much as I could and be able to have as many fruit trees in my land. Oh, that would be amazing. You know, Melly, I'm really excited. Some people, I was, I always thought that like, I can't have trees because I, I'm renting and I thought I couldn't do bushes. I couldn't do trees, but I've learned through watching some of these homesteading channels um, that you can you can grow um, pretty impressive bushes and trees. Um, I mean, you probably already know because you've got pretty impressive uh, plant life in your in your apartment, but um, you can grow them in pots in your house and then move them when you move to a new place. You can uh, you can grow them inside. Um, I don't think I will because I have cats and I think it's a litter box and that gets complicated. Melly doesn't have pets now. I knew you didn't now, but have you ever or do you want pets? Um, I think we've decided that when our cats pass away, I, I don't think, I think we're going to take some time um, and probably not have pets when we first move um, to the homestead just for simplicity's sake because it's it's hard for us to find cat sitters when we go on vacation. I can't imagine trying to find someone to babysit um, cats, dog, rabbits, chickens, um, a cow. You know, like I do not know where where that will happen. Like how that will will work. I guess you make trade agreements with your neighbors or something. So, um, and yeah, Sarah has Sarah has bees. Those are the animals on her, uh, on her homestead. Um, let's see. Will I have chickens? Um, I'm coming around to chickens. I wasn't really, um, I didn't imagine myself as a chicken person. Um, but you know what? They eat ticks. And that alone gives me a reason to have chickens because I don't like ticks and I don't want diseases that they carry. So... Um, Melly says, yes, in Costa Rica, I had a dog. Right now we don't have pets for the same reason. We like to travel and sitters are expensive. Yes. And my cats have behavior problems. So no one, no one outside of my family or very close friends is going to, uh, babysit for flea because she's just not easy. Um, she's mean to strangers She's mad that you're in her house. She wants her mom and dad back. Um, she sometimes assaults the people who are feeding her. It's complicated, guys. Complicated. <laughs> so Q, I don't, oh, we already did Q. Okay, so I need an R. I never thought of an R. Um, random. Tell me something random about yourself. Like a random uh, a random fact. Tell me something random about you. Let's see if I can make that work. Oh, ticker. Look at this. Now I've, now I've learned this in StreamYard. Dang. Yes, she is a complicated kid, but I dearly love her. 
Um, she had a fall out of a tree uh, about two weeks ago. And oh my gosh, I was so terrified. Um, Canadian family life. Hey, hey, welcome to the Almost Homesteading. Almost Homestead, how are you doing? I don't know if you came to my channel before, at least not for the live streams. So greetings, greetings, welcome in. We are doing a getting to know you game, game uh, activity thing where we're talking about um, interesting things about us right now. Crooked Peach, you are not old um, because you're only old if you let yourself grow old. So I do not accept your random fact. <laughs> um, so yeah, this, this question is, tell me something random about you. Um, something random about me. I have never broken a bone. Knock on wood. I don't want to. <laughs> um, my mom, I think, broke all the bones in the family for me so that I would never have to. Um, my mom has broken... I don't think she's ever broken a leg. Yeah. But everything else I think she's broken. She had um, she had a massive accident and she had um, head trauma. She, I'm going from that, I'm going from the head down. Maybe, I don't think she's hurt her neck. Um, she's dislocated her shoulder. She has broken her wrist. Um, she's cracked a rib. Um, broken her pelvis, broken her back like a thousand times. Um, so yeah, Sarah, I did not know that. Um, always remind me to stay on your right side. My inclination will be to be on your left because my husband has the opposite bad ear. Fun fact about life in the Myers homestead. So while some of the, you may still be typing, let me talk about S because for S, I actually have, well, I had two questions, but now I forgot the other one. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to give you the first one and maybe the second one will come to me again before we leave. Um, okay, random fact from Crooked Peach. I broke a leg and ankle, had it rebuilt, and then found out I am allergic to titanium. <gasps> So did they have to take it all out? What do you do about that? Um, but now Humpty Dumpty is back together. Woo! You haven't broken a bone either, Nelly. Look at us all lucky. That's awesome. Sarah's Happy Hives doesn't have any tattoos. Nice, nice, nice. Um, all right, so let's do the letter S. Let me do a new ticker. Um, do you like sports? Uh, and so I'm going to give you two different things to type. SW, if you like to watch sports. Um, and SP, if you like to play sports. Um, because they are not all, they are not the same. Uh, they are not the same. I absolutely love playing a few sports. I despise watching sports. I would pretty much rather do anything else. Um, I don't even watch the Super Bowl. Melly has eight tattoos. Cool. I bet you have interesting tattoos. Uh, Kodiak Bee Farm has had nine broken bones. Ouch. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Um, <laughs> Crooked Peach, whoa, Kodiak, are you okay? <laughs> Seven at one time. Oh my gosh. Um, I have not broken a bone, but my youngest daughter broke her leg in first grade. Oh, that'd be so hard. Um, Melly likes to watch F1. That's racing, right? F1 is racing. Formula One sounds like racing. I think it is. Um, let's see. Kodiak says I was a rough kid. Dang. Uh, Crooked Peach wants to know if Sarah's daughter is okay. Okay. So it is formula. It is the formula one racing. 
Um, is that like the Indy 500, me, uh, Melly, or is that like the smaller cars? Um, so I am definitely um, not SW. I cannot think of a single sport I enjoy watching. But um, in high school, I played basketball my junior year. Absolutely loved it. I was horrible. I did not make the team um, because I was competing against girls who had been playing um, on teams since they were in like fourth grade um, and I was in 11th. So, you know, but compared to how bad I am at everything else athletic, I'm actually pretty good at basketball. Um, I played tennis in uh, junior and senior year, loved it, absolutely terrible absolutely terrible. Consistently the worst player on the team. I was horrible and I absolutely loved it. Um, it is, and I still love playing it, just not in like a competitive thing. Um, so yeah. Ah, Crooked Peach loves to watch tennis. Do you have a favorite tennis player? Let me know. Um, Sarah says her daughter feels the rain coming, but she's okay. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Um, GT Junior grows it Alaska. Hey, hey, how you doing? How is, how is the business preps? I always ask you that because as someone who is planning to launch a business about the same time as you, like, I know that struggle is real. I know that struggle is real. Um, life in the... Uh, Life in the Nature's Abundance, which is the name of my business. Um, the world of Nature's Abundance is a little complicated right now. Trying to get ready for my first show, which is in one day, less than a month. Mm. Oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Okay, so it isn't the IndyCar, Indy but similar, I think. Okay, I think so too. Um, I know about the IndyCars because I am in Indiana, where I'm an hour from the Speedway for the Indy 500. Um, in fact, there's a town called Speedway uh, because of it, and that's where my aunt lived. So, um, Kodiak Tang Sudo, is that like Taekwondo? Is that like a martial art? That's one I haven't heard of. All right, uh, GT Junior, I got a few things in motion right now, awesome. I will be operating in three months. Lots of things to complete. That's awesome. I After this show, I'm not sure when I will um, start. I have my applications in at three farmer's markets. Um, one starts in June, I believe, and I know I've been accepted to them. Um, and then Terre Haute starts May... The 18th, I think. And then I've got something else later in the month. Um, so yeah, I'm not really sure, but um, let's see. Sarah's been to the Speedway. Yeah, you're really close too. Um, I see you put martial arts in quotes. I'm curious what that means. Why is it in quotes? Um, Sarah Happy Hive says, Tai Chi is more my speed now. I get that. Um, yes, Crooked Peach, that's that's um, exactly what I'm trying to do. The problem is um, I'm trying to make sure I do everything absolutely by the book, um, going above and beyond any regulations just to keep myself out of trouble. And so one thing that I have to do is any herbs that I forage, um, because I'm only using herbs that I forage or grow myself, um, any that I am drying, I have to do a sheet of information about to show, you know, if, say, God forbid, a piece of poison ivy gets in that batch and I have to recall all of the products I make with it, um, I have to keep each batch separate and so on and so forth. So I can only use herbs that I've uh, grown or foraged this year. So that kind of puts a little time crunch pressure on there because uh, not all the herbs are ready to forage yet. Some are not even ready to plant yet. So, um, okay. I don't remember what else I was going to do 
for S that seemed so brilliant that I absolutely felt like I had to ask. Um, and it'll appear to me, to me at like three in the morning when uh, you all are, uh, when you all are happily asleep, I hope. So let's do um, for T, are you terrified of anything? And if so, what? Um, so type T, if you have like some kind of phobia or something really scares you, I will tell you, I hate spiders. I am so scared of spiders. Um, oh, Sarah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. We'll do that after we, after we finish, uh, uh, phobias. So yeah, totally terrified of spiders. They have eight legs. They don't shave any of them. Creepy as hell. Not in. Not, no, 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 no. Um, hey, sifting some soil. How you doing? I'm so happy to see you. Awesome. My fellow crochet fan, uh, Sarah, you and sifting some soil should uh, get to know each other because you're both crocheters. Um, Sarah is renewing her interest in crochet and I believe, oh, is it Pikachu? No, it's not Pikachu. It's something Pokemon though, right? That you're uh, crocheting. I remember you showing me the thing. Um, Crooked Peach is afraid of tornadoes. Oh, you do not want to live in Indiana. <laughs> you do not want to live here. Do you guys get that? that far east or are you in like closer to like hurricane type land um gt jr petrified of frogs some of them are pretty creepy no judgment uh sifting soil and more vampires i mean that's legit <laughs> oh crooked peach just finished ice cream what flavor i am all about the butter pecan it's so good so good. Evie. Okay. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, your daughter spotted it. Ah, oh, sad. I have a Harry Potter kit downstairs that I need to do. Um, it had a little crochet hook that was shaped like a wand. It was so cute. And I lost it before I even got it home. Um, so there's that. Ah, uh, both but few tornadoes. Okay. Gotcha. 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 Um, chocolate chip, chocolate, chocolate chip. I'm not, uh, I like chocolate ice cream. I don't love it, um, but I don't really like the um, extra chocolatey ones. So for you, let me know if you have ever snorkeled or scuba dived. We'll do that for you. I'm telling you, Sarah, just relax. It'll come with time. You can't force it. Just keep practicing. Keep practicing. Try, try to make it, try to do it with your, without doing your full attention. That will make you um, crochet looser. Ooh, sifting some soil and need to crochet a Spider-Man blanket. Awesome. Um, I don't know what I'm crocheting next. Sifting some soil. We should do a crochet along. That'd be fun. Um, okay, Kodiak Farm Bees scuba dived in Mexico. Sarah snorkeled in Lake Huron. Ooh, cool. I never thought about that, Sarah. I never thought about that you could snorkel in the Great Lakes. That's neat. I wonder what, did you, like, did you get to see the fish and everything? That would be cool. All right, sifting some soil. We'll have to, we'll have to figure that out. Have to figure out a project. Um, you go live at midnight, what is it, Sunday and Monday? So I'll probably, um, I'll probably catch you Sunday night. So the Glamour Planner, yes, yes. Crooked Peach, remember earlier in the chat, I told you there was somebody that you totally would love because she knows more about herbalism than I do? The Glamour Planner. That's who it is. 
So super glad that you stopped by um, because I was literally telling uh, Crooked Peach about you earlier. Talk about timing. And the Glamour Planner snorkeled in Jamaica, which is awesome. <laughs> GT Jr. I scuba dived in the bathtub when I was young. Nice. Nice, nice. Uh, Sarah, happy hives. I couldn't see much, but I had a snorkel. So Sarah, um, have you ever heard of Dietz Lake here? It's like, it's, it's almost halfway in between us. It may be a little closer to me than to you. Um, but it's a lake here where they have the clearest water ever. I, okay. First of all, no, before I say this, that I am short, I am only five feet tall. But that being said, I can have water up to here, look down, and I can see my toes. It's amazing. Lacey J, hey, hey, how are you? You got my share of the sleep because I, I could not. I laid down and I had a video that I needed to post tonight for the... Um, the planter garden, planter garden challenge. Um, so yeah, hold on a second, Crooked Peach. Let me let me um, get let me get to my channel this way, and I am going to give wrenches. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry. Um, let me give Glamour Planner a. Um, a wrench so she can share her channel. Um, and I am giving, ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, let me drop wrenches here. Um, just a few while I'm, while I'm here. I don't know how, um, I gotta get Nightbot connected into my chat so that everybody can drop their links. Um, That'll be easy. Um, okay, so Glamour Planner, you should be able to drop the link to your channel if you don't mind. Um, everyone else except for maybe Melly, I think if you scroll um, on the um, community tab page, I think. Well, I don't know if I've. I don't know if I've actually tagged you on there, uh, Sarah. I know I have. Um, I know I have sifting some soil. I know that I've tagged you on there. I know I have Lisey J. Um, I know I have not the Glamour Planner or Crooked Peach, um, Melly. So Melly's got a wrench. Glamour Planner's got a wrench. Let me give Sarah a, a wrench. Kodiak, I've tagged a bunch of times. Um, I believe that I have, um, one second. There we go. I believe I've uh, tagged GT Jr. But GT Jr., you never tell me when you're going live. So I never know when to put you on the list because I never know when you're going live. Um, all right, let's see. Where was I at? Um, so I have never scuba dived and my only snorkeling has been at Dietz Lake and it was unsuccessful because I couldn't get the thingy to fit right over my mouth and it just uh, leaked water and the snorkel thingy um, sometimes leaks water and it was just complicated. So I gave up. But I'd love to scuba dive sometime. Oh, it does pop-ups. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, GT Junior, yikes. I get you, I get you. Um, eventually I'll have mine on a, on a schedule, but I'm not there yet either. I didn't know I was doing these lives until uh, about 24 hours ago, I think, is when I scheduled them. Thanks. Not sure how to do it. Um, you are welcome, Kodiak. Hold on a second. I think I can do it, Glamour Planner. Let me, let me look you up, and I should be able to do it. Um... Okay, hold on. Do I know how to spell glamour? No, no, I don't. Oh, I do. Okay. Um, why does it not have you coming up? Oh, that is rude. I'm subscribed to you and it's still not bringing you up. 
Um, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me figure out. There we go. I should be able to post your link here. Let's see if it goes in and it works. Aw, uh, Sarah Lee was the first one to give me a wrench. Um, South Florida Sunshine was the first to give me a wrench. And I was like, what just happened and what do I do about this? I was really, really new to like the YouTube with friends world. I had done YouTube like in general. Um, but not to that extent. So that was uh, that was super, super weird. All right, let's see what we got left. Um, uh, let's do V. I was inspired by sifting some soil. So type V if you like uh, vampire stuff. It can be... Uh, any kind of vampire stuff. Cause you know, there's like the Twilight vampires, but there's always also like Bram Stoker's Dramic Dra that Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula vampires. And there's a whole spectrum in between. There's the Underworld series. Um, v interview with a vampire, awesome. I've never, um, I've never done that. So that's interesting. <laughs> so, Melly, basically what it means is if somebody's acting crazy, if somebody's posting something rude, um, you should be able to, um, you should have options. If you click on the three dots by their names, uh, you should be able to um, do some kind of app. I think you can block them or like make them leave the chat. I think you can silence them for a certain number of minutes. Um, honestly, if I give you a wrench, I trust your judgment. Um, if somebody's being a jerk, do what you got to do. I'm not really worried about it. Um, let's see. So Sarah likes interview with a vampire. Um, Melly likes the original. I've never heard of that. Hmm, cool. I'll have to check that out. Uh, Anne Rice. Yeah, my brother-in-law loved Anne Rice novels. I remember um, he and I were in classes together and I remember him having Anne Rice novels like stealthily hidden under his <laughs> under his desk. Probably not very uh, stealthily, um, but that's okay. No one cared. Um, Lisey J is all about the vampires. Um, Kodiak likes the Bram Stoker. Um, yeah, Sarah, you can give him a, a timeout. Um, Blackula? Ooh, scared the mess out of me when I was a little girl, so I don't do vampire movies. Um, Bram Stoker, yes. Vampire Diaries was my favorite show. Hmm, interesting. Um, Glamour Planner, uh, Twilight Fanatic, uh, Blackula and Vampire in Brook Brooklyn. I never heard of Vampire in Brooklyn. Um, Sarah Blade. So the only only vampire um, series I liked. I loved the Twilight books. Hated the movies except for the last one. The last one was really good. Um, but movie wise, the only one I really like is Underworld. Um, I think we have every single Underworld movie. We might be missing one. Um, I don't remember the blades that well. So that'll be interesting. Salem's Lot. Ooh, Sarah, I never read that or watched it, but I really wanted to. Um, um, let's see. Jay, I like that one too, but did you watch the original? Mm, good question. <laughs> Um, so as far, as far as, uh, Salem's Lot, I haven't watched that or watched or read it, but I, um, love most of the other Stephen King books, except for the one about the twin. That was, that was disgusting. That is the worst thing I've ever read. Um, and I, I am not somebody with a weak stomach. Like you can talk about all the gross things with me at the kitchen table, I will be snacking. I will not be phased. Um, but that book uh, by Stephen King about the twins, absolutely disgusting. 
um, Glamour Planner, the Vampire Academy, True Blood. Okay. Haven't really checked that out. I started to. I hear it gets better. I watched one episode and was like, no. Um, but I hear it gets better, so I'll probably give it another shot. Um, Lisey J listens to audio vampire books and stories. I love audiobooks. Um, fun fact about me, I cannot sleep at night um, unless I have an audiobook or TV because if I just lay there, I get the racing thoughts and I get more anxious and more awake. So audiobooks are the only way that I can sleep unless I am um, in the front room watching uh, <laughs> forensic files, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> forensic files. Um, let's see. Ooh, scared to go near windows after watching Salem's Lot. Nice. Um, mark of a good book. Um, Lisey J. Oh, so I started the originals but never finished it. My sister loved the originals. She was in love with Klaus. So where do you watch the originals? Is it like on one of the streaming services or? Ah, uh, Dr. Sleep I've never heard of. The Shining. Um, I just watched The Shining for the first time like two years ago. Um, I don't know how I missed that and I need to watch it again. Um, wow, Glamour Planner. Oh my gosh, I'm seriously a fan of vampire movies, but don't do scary movies. Really? Oh my goodness. Um, I like scary, but I don't do, I don't do anything demonic because that creeps me out. I feel like there's things in my house um, and I'm not I'm not super religious, but I don't know. Mm, um, yes, Crooked Peach. Crooked Peach, do you do um, podcasts? Should have put that as P. Um, do you listen to podcasts? Because if you like true crime, I have an excellent podcast for you. You will love it. Um, okay, Millie, it was on Netflix. Don't know if it's still there. Um, Cabin in the Woods. I feel like I watched that, but it wasn't memorable. Okay, got to check out The Vampire. Oh, it's got Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I'm in. I'm in. I need to make a list. Hold on. Yes, I'm literally making a list. Um, the Originals and Vampire in Brooklyn. Is that like a parody of uh, The Vampire in London? Which, by the way, I started to watch and... Wow. <laughs> like, no, no, I'm good. I am good. So yeah, I can do scary. I love, love suspense. Um, absolutely love them. But um, Melly, you love podcasts? You got to tell me your favorites. Um, I bet you have some really interesting podcasts that I would like. Um, I like a lot of true crime ones. Um, but there's a couple of interesting plant ones I'll have to have to look up. Maybe I'll do a video one day about um, about different um, podcasts that I found out there about herbalism. Because there's some cool ones um, and there's some not. Uh, yeah, Eddie Murphy. Amazing. I can't think of anything he's been in that I didn't like. Um <laughs> So, yeah, I am all about that, which this kind of brings us to W. Um, do you like watching movies? And what is your favorite? My all time absolute favorite movie is V for Vendetta. Um, there are just like so many layers of depth to that movie. I just absolutely adore it. Um, and then I like Lilo and Stitch because they're adorable. They're the cutest ever. Um, Lisey J says, I do more thrillers, not as scary though. I'm with you. I have an overactive, overactive imagination. I'd hear a thing that I never heard. Yes. Yes. Absolutely get that. Absolutely get that. Um, and my husband works nights. So like, yeah, sometimes the imagination is not a good thing. Kodiak Bees says Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. I absolutely, I love both of those. Um, Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Uh, Millie, no, I listen to weird to weird things or reality shows like 
the show Girls Next Door. I don't know if you remember that show. No, I don't. Um, Sarah, yes, Doctor Who, Doctor Who, Silence in the Library is amazing. It's like one of the all-time best episodes. I also love the storyline with the different ones where they like go back. Is it Venice? Where they got the women in white. I should really know more about this. Um... Um, 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 um. Yeah, I can't think of what that arc is called, but yeah, uh, W, who else likes Deborah, likes Doctor Who? This is a very deeply important question. W, put W in the chat if you like Doctor Who. I will still love you if you don't, but I like Doctor Who. And I, and then the follow-up question will be, who is your favorite doctor? Uh, my favorite is David Tennant. Abs I, I don't know that anybody can ever top him, um, but I like the girl doctor. She's not as good as David Tennant, but she's good. <laughs> so yeah, I don't remember the girls next the the girls next door. Um, Crooked Peach, you never watched it? Oh my gosh, Sarah, Sarah, we have to introduce her to the wonders. <gasps> Lisey J, you never saw it either? Oh my God, it's so good. Like you have to survive the first season because the first season is absolutely um, the most cheesy thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, but once you get to season two, it's good stuff. Kodiak Bees, what? All right, GTG, um, most of those I have not heard of except for Green Mile and Man on Fire. Um, I have both of those. Although I think I still have the Green Mile on VHS, which we may have thrown out because it was VHS and we don't have a VHS player anymore. Um, or we do, but it's out in the garage maybe because I think I have my mom's. Um, let's see. Sarah, you like uh, Christopher Eccleston? Interesting. Not my favorite. Um, not my least favorite. P Peter Capaldi is my least favorite, but um, Melly Loves the Green Mile. It really is a good movie. Uh, last question is, do you like Doctor Who? All my sci-fi fans in the house. Doctor Strange. Um, so my husband is very into Doctor Strange. I watched the movie. I probably did a craft during it and I don't remember a lot, which is odd because I do generally like superhero movies, um, but I also have ADHD. So <gasps> Melly hasn't watched it either. What? Sarah, we need to have a like online Zoom party with Doctor Who watching and invite all of our friends. It is a deep, it is a, it is a problem. Um, yeah, Doctor Strange is cool. I feel like I've seen that actor somewhere, the actor that plays um, Doctor Strange. Is it the same guy that plays um, Sherlock Holmes in Sherlock? I think it is. I don't know. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go back for a minute. Um, Sarah suggested for S the show Serenity and or the movie Serenity and the uh, series uh, Firefly. Type S if you are, if you like the Serenity slash Firefly uh, movie and series. Yes, Benedict, uh, yeah, him, him. I'm not gonna try and pronounce that. There are too many letters. Um, no, Lisey, there's just the BBC one. Um, Melly likes Serenity. Cool, I didn't know that. Oh, uh, Sarah, I want to sing the song, but also I don't because I'm live. Crooked Peach, it's, it's, Serenity's not new. It was, um, I don't know what, I don't know what years it was produced. Sarah, 
Um, Melly, do you guys know? I feel like you have wisdom beyond your years. Lisa J, haven't seen Serenity or Firefly. Um, well, the show Firefly. Yeah, Serenity is just the um, just the movie that it's based on. You can't take the sky from me. Ah, oh, look what you've done. Now I've been singing. <laughs> All right, let's. X is also similar. When I think of the letter X, I go immediately to X-Files. Are you an X-Files fan? Put an X in the chat if you are into X-Files. I, I go in like spurts. I'll watch, I'll watch some and then I'll like stop and lose interest. And then I'll watch a set and then I'll stop and I'll lose interest. But overall, I really like the X-Files. It, um, my best friend in high school was obsessed with X-Files. Um, so I kind of had to watch it to keep up with her, but eventually like I, I was in, um, okay, Sarah, it was the beginning of the two thousands. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So like I said, um, Crooked Peach, it's not that old and it's one that you would probably like. Um, give me a second. I'm going to go, I want to look at something. Um, I told someone that when my, uh, live was over, I would see if they were still on and I would run over there if they were. Um, so give me just a second. Oh. I think it's the Yaya Sisterhood, maybe. Yaya Sister. Um, nope, nope, that's not it. Um, I just remember that it started with Yaya. If anybody knows who I'm talking about, the YouTuber whose name starts with Yaya that's in the Miss T community, um, if you could type their name in the chat, that would be amazing. 2002. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. No, I'm thinking of Yankee Sista. Um, I don't remember what the Yaya stands for. And I'm not sure how she came up on my... Uh, on my uh, feed for me to find her this time. Except um, some other YouTubers that I know were in her chat... So I don't know. Let me go to live and see if I find her. Meanwhile, yes, Scully and Mulder obsession. Yes, Glamour Planner. Yeah, yeah, best life. Yes. All right. Let me look and see if she is still there. Wait. Yeah, oh, yeah, best life. That's not coming up either. Um. Okay, because I put spaces in it. Gotcha. Let me look and see she had been on she had been on her life for two hours when i was over there um yeah yeah best life let me look and see if she is still alive gonna be sad if she's not no it looks like they just ended oh that stinks um but thank you thank you thank you thank you for um letting me know her name I, I know I subscribed to her channel, um, but I clearly didn't spend enough time there <laughs> to remember it. Um, yeah, it was, she was on there. Hold on, let me look and I'll tell you how long. Two hours and 47 minutes. It was a long live. Um, and yesterday, uh, Swoop Like Me, Official J Jamia, um, Carol the Girl Miniature, did one that ended up lasting 10 hours, they said. That is impressive. Um, good night, Sarah. I'm actually, I, I just have Z, and then I'm going to be going to bed too. Well, not going to bed, but I'm going to log off here and relax a little, uh, grab something yummy to eat. Um, so Z, drop a Z in the chat if you like going to the zoo. 
I recognize that zoos are kind of controversial. Um, some people absolutely love them. Some people um, feel that it is, um, that they do not treat the animals in an ethical manner. But I, I see the value of zoos. Um, I just hate that um, there's not better treatment of the animals. I hope that they're reforming that. Um, but yeah, if you like zoos, drop a Z in the chat and tell me your favorite animal at the zoo. Um, I absolutely adore the otters. They are so cute. Um, when they like, they play on the land and then they go in the water and they chase each other and then they jump on the land, like get out on the land and they chase each other and they go back in the water. And they're just so cute. I just absolutely love them. Ah, sifting some soil and more. So uh, what is your favorite animal? Kodiak, uh, good night, everyone. Got to work all weekend. Oh, that stinks. Like work on your farm or like work at a yucky job? I speak like that, like every job is yucky, but you know. Um, I have, I don't think I'm going to do this again ever, but I am going to do lives again. This has been seriously fun. Um your crane operator. Okay. Uh, let's see. Lisi, uh, cheetahs and lions. Agreed. I am. There is a um, feline rescue that is um, like halfway between my house and Sarah's where they rescue um, cats of bigger size. So um, they have some tigers. They have some um, lions. Um, they have cheetahs and all different things. Um, and I absolutely love them. They get them from people that try to get them as pets and it's not allowed or they abuse them. Um, and also, um, ones that are retired from zoos or, um, were mistreated from like, you know, like the little shady places that take animals. Um, like here in town, we have an aquarium where people go to buy their fish and they had like a random crocodile outside. Like what the hell? You don't know how to take care of a crocodile. It's in this tiny little space. Yeah. So it's clearly we need a crocodile uh, rescue or alligator, whatever. Um, let's see. Sifting some soil loves them all except snakes. Um, if you had asked me a year ago, I would have said the same thing. Absolutely would have. Let me get a drink. Ooh. If you had told me a year ago um, that I would be a fan of snakes now, I would never have believed you. However, I was at a nature uh, retreat thing and I, um, sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, nature retreat type thing is complicated to explain. Um, and they had uh, two snakes that they had captured on the property. One was a bull snake. Um, and he was big and slow moving and I was willing to like pet his little nosy. Um, however, instead, uh, one of the people there needed to get up and she just kind of like thrust a blue racer snake <laughs> into my arms and I kind of like moved him to my lap and then like just gently like touch him with a finger um, but he was cold and they like to like, if you have a jacket on, they like you to like put them up onto your chest and then zip your zipper up and they like to cuddle and I have a weakness for animals that like to cuddle. So Turbo the Blue Racer, um, which is not the kind of snake I would recommend that you uh, hold your first time if you are not a snake person. Um, I fell in love with Turbo. So, and we released Turbo the next day. So um, back to the wild because that's the right thing to do. He was just chilling, living his best life. She. Um, all right. Glamour Planner loves giraffes and elephants. Great choices. Um, Glamour Planner, I don't remember. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> what should I do? 
up, Melly. I prefer sanctuaries. Agreed. Agreed. I really like the sanctuaries. I think that, like, that's technically what um, the feline rescue here is. And they have uh, much more room to run, much more room to play. Things are set up specifically for them a little better than they are in the zoos, but I get that. All right, so it has been fabulous hanging out with all of you. Um, I definitely will have to do more like just chatting lives. It wasn't something I really planned to do, um, but I think we'll have to do some of those and um, just some nights where like I post, put the link up and uh, you guys can join me on screen and we just hang out. Um, but until then, um, you'll be able to find me at Sifting Some Soils live at midnight on Sunday um, and just kind of hanging out here and there. But you will not me find me live anywhere tomorrow, uh, to my knowledge, because I'm going to spend tomorrow recovering my voice and sleeping. So thank you all for spending this time with me. Oh my gosh, this really, this really was amazing. Um, I appreciate your support so much. I appreciate you all coming here and I'm sending you tons of love. See you next time. Eat something wild, um, but not from an animal rescue. <laughs>